the National Trade Union Congress. We continue to, to, to push our full support behind the joint unions in the request for the uh, increment restoration um, by this fiscal year, which is 2023, 2024. Um, we believe that that is something that needs to happen and it should, it, it should happen. The, we keep on hearing the prime minister and some of his team talking about how good the, per, uh, the, the, the economy has been performing and GDP is up there and the economy is rebounding. Uh, it can't be that the economy is rebounding and you're not finding the funds to ensure that you pay the people who are working hard for the public officers. And the, the, the prime minister and his team need to understand that the increments that we're talking about are performance based increments, meaning that public sector workers, teachers, police, BDF, nurses, you name them as they fall into that category. They are appraised yearly, and you get your you you get your you receive an increment based on your appraisal. So it's a performance based tool. So we are saying that if the economy is, has rebounded, the increment is less than half of one percent of GDP. Um, in dollars, that is about 18 to 20 million dollars. The government has that funding. The, the, the government has that money to restore public officers increment. And so we continue to stand behind the joint unions in that support. And we've been saying over and over that the government should, as a matter of fact, when they restored the 10%, they should have restored the increment 